Why would I though? What's fly? Because y'all niggas is headaches. <laughs> it's crazy. Damn, <laughs> yeah, and we trapped, bro. The feds are watching. The feds are watching. Let's go get some answers, guys. Just get it, bro. Why do you just walk in and you're taking I'm in possession of stolen merchandise. Alright guys, we're on the way to Vivid's apartment. We're gonna shoot an Alibaba podcast. We got up mad early. Alibaba, y'all did this dirty. Y'all flew us out on Frontier. You know, I'm not complaining. I'm an F-less celebrity. You gotta work your way up to the ranks. Y'all gonna see the journey. We're in New York. Cue the dope montage. Let's get this podcast going. We got, uh, Vivid got the Art Heels paint shirt. Free product placement. What if we had a super line office here one day? Super line. Crazy. I wouldn't want to know how much the rent is here. <laughs> Out of our pay grade right now. Right now. We just finished Alibaba podcast. How'd you think it went? It was good. My first podcast, straight. I was nervous. I didn't talk much. We're gonna go man on the street, do a bunch of interviews. We're gonna walk around. We're gonna quiz people, see how smart they are. Are they smarter than a, uh, what are they smarter than? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Some with fashion. Are you smarter than a, uh, a what? Smarter than a hype beast. Who would be the target hype beast? Me. Are you smarter than a hype beast? How well do you know your fashion? No. Would you say you're knowledgeable? I'm not that knowledgeable. I just be fly. I mean, you got to be knowledgeable to be fly, right? A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. All right. So we're going to test her with 10 random logos and let's see if she gets no. them all right. What is um, Canadian Goose? Canadian Goose. How do you think about that? Do you know what logo no, this is? I can't be Canadian Goose. No. What's that? <laughs> it's Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, ain't nobody thinking about them. This one. Abercrombie. What? Oh my God, come on. American Eagle? American Eagle. American Eagle. Same shit. Hollister. It's Hollister. I'm not, nobody, I don't, like, this is 2012. Like, who's thinking about 2012? Yeah, you gotta pull from the archives. You know this one. Yeah, I know this one. Next. All right. It was Nike, y'all. Uh, Off-white. Converse. Levi's. Okay. North Face. She knows all the street ooh, brands. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, Drake shit. Drake shit. It's your favorite artist. Drake. I know you know this one. How do you not know this one? This is, like, coveted. Coveted. All the I females want this. this. He that? knows what it is. All the girls want these bags. Is it Hermes? Yeah. Is it Hermes? Oh, okay. The Prada. Oh. She was, uh... Not bad. She knew all the street brands, didn't know any of, the, any of the white brands. Yeah. Cause, why, cause yeah. why would Basically. I though? Why would I? What are you guys shooting today? <laughs> <laughs> we are shooting for Daniel's leather. So this is, you know, real nice, authentic. Is it hot or is it cold? Cause I'm, it's giving a little bit of both. <laughs> it's giving, like I said, we just fly, you we know? Just fly. It's springtime in New York right now. So, you know, fur in the springtime, that's the fly bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you think somebody like me that's not a season could wear and pull off one of these jackets? If you got the bag, you could do what you want. I don't got the bag, so it's... Oh. oh, sorry. But I feel like if a bitch can pull off fur in the springtime, summertime, she's super fly. But I mean, of course, you know, wintertime, the store's packed. I love the furs. Then you got every flavor, every color that you want, and you could come in and find everything. I think we should have a challenge. Uh, if you can pull off a fur jacket in the springtime, you putting it on. If you can't, you're not putting it on. Because this, exactly. putting it on. Putting it on, exactly. Tell me I'm not turning heads right now. I mean, he's cute. I like the outfit. It's giving like mob vibes, you know? No, 100%. He's mob boss, mob. especially because he's bald. 100%. <laughs> We're here at Daniel's Leather, guys. You guys have seen the Instagram. You guys have seen the videos. Can you give us your come up story, how you got started in this industry? Started accidentally, actually. I am an engineer by profession. I had done my civil engineering from Pakistan, and I came here for my environmental engineering. And I was working on a construction project. A friend of mine had like 100 coats that he couldn't sell. He was in the leather business. He asked me if I can do it for him. I took them to the construction site, and I sold them all. And that's how I started. So. Why did you want to go from engineering to selling coats? Because I feel like that's such a far gap in mm -hmm. industries. I think I always had like a knack for fashion or color coordination or whatever you want to call it. And honestly, I wasn't happy with the engineering thing. So now I'm happy. How long did it take you to get to where you are today? There's a lot of Instagram growth. The store is iconic. You have celebrities coming in here. Look, the celebrities have always been coming to us. Before the advent of this social media, just people didn't know. So we have this famous wall of fame. This is heritage. These pictures are old, right? So you would see like Tim Thomas. You would see that guy from American Idol, uh, Ruben. You would see the people from Law and Order, Ice Cube. Bernard Hopkins every time and he would win the championship he would come so we always had people coming but uh, people didn't know about our clientele mm -hmm. until we became hot on Instagram whose idea was it to start going on Instagram my story. son how old is your son at that time he was like 11 or 12 and he told me he said that you should be on uh, Instagram and I'm like what is Instagram so mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how it started going from being a coder to doing this business right
right? What was your number one hardship? It is a dangerous business in a way that, you know, it's like waves, you know, something gets hard, but you gotta be very, very careful because the biggest reason that people cannot survive in this business is that when the fashion changes, they are unable to get rid of the merchandise that they have. And the merchandise is very, very expensive. Sometimes I'm driving my car and I go to one of my suppliers and I load up a car and I'm like, Lord have mercy, I have like $300,000 worth of inventory in this small little car. A lot of people that went out of business, I call them dinosaurs because if they cannot adapt with what is going on and if they don't change on time, then it could be a problem. Luckily, I've been good at anticipating what is the next move, what is the next thing, but there have been situations where I felt like uh, I've lost everything. Like about 15, 20 years ago, there were a lot of time that you would deal with the brokers who would bring the merchandise from somewhere to sell. So I was working with this guy and I trusted the guy. I put a lot of money into buying what he was selling me, the course that he was selling me. And then after two or three days, somebody from FBI came and it turned out that it was a whole container of codes that was stolen from California. And somebody has shipped it over here and I'm in possession of stolen merchandise. So we had to just give all the codes away. I was broke when that happened. And how did you come back from that mentally? That's, that's fucking, that's tough. And this is exactly why I said that. I call myself Phoenix. You know, I've yeah. risen from ashes a few times. So I love that. Last question. If you could go back to like an 18 year old version of yourself, you're learning how to code, you're trying to figure out your life. What's one advice you'd give to yourself? I think go with your gut feeling. Like don't listen to anyone. Don't listen to what your parents want you to be. You know, you have to be just ask yourself, what do you want to do? You should give it a shot because if you don't, then you will have that regret that you never tried. I appreciate it. That's so much free game. Legend in the building. It's an iconic store. As you can see, there's heritage behind the store there's a great incredible story every time we come to these places and we do interviews i think it's really important to soak up as much game as you can because experience is something that you can't recreate thank you so much My pleasure. we're at marnie's vivek is gonna buy me a sweater he's gonna lace up the team right vivek hell no that's above my pay grade tell him to give me a raise above my pay grade too so but we're here we're learning oh this is like the iconic marnie's look huh i think so yeah how much is this piece i think it's 1250 1250 1250 yeah does it make you fly absolutely i mean you make yourself fly i meant like can you like fly like can you wear oh, or did, does it give you like superpowers does it give you anything i mean I mean, maybe super warm. I think maybe like with this, it's like the opposite of invisibility. And I think maybe some people would want that. What do you have to say to like the younger kid who's like 14 that wants to buy this? Do you think it's worth it for him to buy it? A lot of people tell me like, oh, don't spend your money on clothes. Like save, save, save. Just get it, bro. Especially if you're like working hard for your money, you should like splurge on yourself every once in a while. If you really want to just get it, treat yourself. What does fashion mean to you? Self-expression and just being able to feel comfortable in who you are. What do you think about the business of fashion? You work here at Marnie's, right? You guys are selling $1,200 sweaters, right? Mm -hmm. If you were a kid trying to start a brand and you have like all this exposure, what advice would you give to them to be like, this is how you sell a $1,200 sweater? That's the thing, because before working here, I thought it would be more of like styling people, but it's really about figuring out ways to like properly advertise something that you love. Cool. If they wanted to find you, do you have Instagram? It's Jordan Simone. Clark. Cool. Vivek, buy me this sweater now. Get it. Uh -huh. dope. She know what time it is. It's show time. What's good? What's good, y'all? What's your name, bro? Everybody call me Tay or eight like the number. Why the number eight? Why not the number six? Shit, cause shit, nigga, eight. <laughs> Can you break down the fit for us? This is a crazy fit. This got some Uggs, you know. Got the Vetmon socks. How much are the Vetmon socks? Cause they're not regular socks, right? Yeah. Look it up. Google, do your Google. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> I can't wait to use that word one day. What about the pants? How much are the pants? Yeah, these are HBA. Why is the zipper sideways? Down. There's something down you know, there? Just for, you know, easy access, you know? <laughs> <laughs> easy access. No yeah. shirt, no shirt. No shirt, no shirt today. I'm missing an item. What about the bag? What do I call that bag? I'm, I'm uncultured. What, what, what kind of bag is this? Shit, LV Caddy for real. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? We got some keys. I got a Saint Laurent wallet. A motherfucking hella wallet. <laughs> you got some money. You got some fucking Tylenol. Cause y'all niggas is headaches. We got some. That's a bar right there. <laughs> we got the Balenci. This is actually the invite. The Balenci invite. Regular people like me can't get it. <laughs> with the with the ID and all. This is me right here. Yo, this, this man is crazy. <laughs> what is going on right now? Would you say you're understood or misunderstood? Bro, it don't even matter. As long as you can stand, that is, that's all that matters. Marnie sneakers, the lost tapes with the Balenci belt, with the Balenci hoodie. These are big as shit, bro. Nah, they not. They five. How do y'all know my boy right here? So I'm his OnlyFans manager. That's what's up. Do you think he put it on today? He yeah, he picture. always put it on. He put it on. Yeah. Out of the three of us, who's the one that didn't put it on? Be foul. Put you could on. disrespect him. Who didn't put it on? 
<laughs> Why not? What's wrong with his fit? What's wrong with his fit? Just to be honest, I don't like the wash of the jeans. The it looked like jeans. a cartoon. Can you break down your fit for it? What, what is this? Balenciaga, double sweats. No homo, do you have under boxers under there? Hey, I got boxers. Can I can't see the, boxers. Can we see the double layer of boxers? I've never seen the double Ooh, boxers. That's what okay. I gotta see for me. That's what I gotta right, see. Cool. No so, homo. What kind of boots are these? These are Shane Oliver Uggs. You feel me? So little flashes, a little motion. Shit. What do y'all do? Do y'all have jobs? What's the What's the day job of a guy? Cause y'all, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. We scam and we trap, bro. We scam and trap, Zaza. You I'll feel me? No, bro, bro. The feds are watching. The feds are watching. The quiet one in the back. That's the dangerous one. That's, that's the real. That's, that's the real. The that's the one you gotta look out that's for the right leader. there. Don't check his boot bag. There's another one I misunderstood. The misunderstood gang right here. The misunderstood. Misunderstood oh. gang. What, what you got on today? What kind of shoes is these? Rick. Rick. And Rick. the pants? Rick. Oh, all Rick. All Rick, Rick head to toe. All Rick. All right, cool. We just pulled into a random store in New York. What is this store called, bro? Nowadays Creative Lab. What are some of your favorite blanks that you carry in the store? For sure, LA Apparel. That's always like the go-to one. But we also got as color and like tea styled. What is the concept of the store? Is you pull up, you have an idea for a brand? Yeah, pretty much. Like if you need samples, that's kind of what we specialize in. Or like we have a direct to garment printer. And then after 12 pieces, we can do screen print. We also do embroidery. The sweatshop down below or something? Nah, there ain't shit down there. Uh, <laughs> is there a minimum to come? For direct to garment? No, you could literally pull up with one piece or like buy a shirt here and then we could do it but screen print 12 embroidery 12. Who's the majority of the customers like people that want to start brands restaurants for sure brands but like some people come in on some like they need a gift for like a birthday or some shit uh, it'll mostly be brand people but you'll get like the random the one-offs yeah can we ask you about the prices like how much is it for one hoodie front cover print we do like a flat line price so say you do like a LA apparel hoodie it would be 40 and then 25 for like the front print and then anything else would be like five dollars and that's for like sample prices from 1 through 12. It's the same hour too. Same hour is crazy. What do you mean? Same hour. Dude. Oh, it's done in the same oh, hour. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. So if I order saying. a hoodie right now, it's done in an hour. Yeah, that's the plan. That's what we're about to do yeah. for this, man. That's crazy. If you're in New York City, you want to start a brand, I would come check out this spot right here. Get you a, a sample. Same hour. Same hour is crazy. And as you guys can see, they have all the blanks already up here. We gotta get some super line in here though. Shout out to my boy, Demir T Styles. I see you. You out here in the streets, bro. Well, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, Thanks cool. for having us, guys. We're in uh, Times Square. How did we end up here? Felix, fat ass, drunk ass, hungover ass, want to get fucking Taco Bell. Who eats Taco Bell? Taco Bell is disgusting. What are you eating at Taco Bell? That's disgusting. 